to our online class, Balangi Public School. Class 9 student, now we study chapter 6, line and angles. Line and angles. Do you study in lower class, line, line segment, and some type of angles also. So, now we recall, what is the line? Line means any two points we can be joined that become a line. Like that, A is a point, B is a point. Now join these two points become the line segment. This become the line segment and line segment A B bar. But line which is the nothing end point, but line segment is the two end point A and B. But line suppose here x y both side become the arrow mark so line is the x y and it become the line segment now collinear point do you know collinear means the three point which are in a straight line three point a b c are three point are in a line these are known as the collinear point if three point are not in a line that is known as the non-collinear. Okay? Then this type angle. What is the angle? In the three non-collinear point. Suppose P, Q and R are the three non-collinear point. Now join the QP ray and QR ray. QP ray and QR ray is from the one angle P, Q, R. P, Q, R angle. In this angle, Q is the vertex and QP and QR is known as the arm of the angle. So, this type angle are now we study different type of angle also. Before it, we study the in class ray. Ray is the one end and nothing on the finished end. This type is the ray, one is the starting point nothing they are ending point and they are one line is known also a opposite ray if we take the one line that is known as the opposite ray OA ray and OB ray ray can be stand OA this type or OB this type now do you study the right angle right angle the angle which measurement be 90 degree angle which measurement be 90 degree do you know the right angle? Then angle which is less than 90 degree, more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree known as the acute angle. Right angle, acute angle, then obtuse angle. First is the right angle, right angle, then acute angle. This type angle is the acute angle, then is the obtuse angle. Obtuse angle what is? Obtuse angle means the angle with measurement is with more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree okay then we study the straight angle the straight angle suppose a o b the straight angle which measure b 180 degree is known as the straight angle then we study lower class adjacent angle adjacent angle the two angle which have the one common arm and other two are, are opposite side of the common arm is known as the adjacent angle adjacent angle means two angles here A, B, C, D here A, B, C one angle A, B, C and C, B, D are the another type of angle in this two angle the common side is the B, C common arm is the BC and their other arm AB and BD are opposite side of BC. So this type of angle is known as the adjacent angle. Then in this adjacent angle here suppose this also a line and here is the angle also A O B C. Here also adjacent angle we can be saying due to OC, AOC angle and BOC angle from these two angles OC is the common side 
and other side O and O B are the opposite side of O C. So it is known as the, this A O C angle and B O C is the adjacent angle. And some of these two angle B 180, so it is known as the adjacent supplementary angle or this type of angle is known as the linear pair also. Linear pair. Okay? Then now we come to the supplementary angle. Supplementary angle, the two angle, sum of the two angle B 180, sum of the two angle B 180, then one angle is supplement of other angle. This type of angle means this angle. Suppose this becomes the uh, uh, suppose this becomes the 40 degree. Their supplement is the 180 minus 40. Means 180 minus 40 become the 140 degree. So sum of the two angle be 180. That is known as the supplementary angle. And one angle is supplement of other. This type. Suppose this angle be one angle be suppose x degree. Their supplement is 180 minus x. Like that complementary angle. The sum of the two angle. Sum of the two angle is 90 degree. Then one angle is complement of other. Like that suppose this type. This the type angle. This angle and this angle are the suppose our complementary angle. Suppose this angle become the 30 degree. Then other angle be 60 degree. Okay. This type. If the one angle of the complementary angle is the suppose x degree. Their complementary is the 90 minus x. So sum of the two angle be 90 degree. Then one is the other complementary angle. Then now we come to the vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle what is? When the two line are cross each other. When the two line are cross each other. Suppose two line A, B and C, D and intersect each other at point O. Intersect each other at point O is known as the vertically opposite angle. Which are this angle A, O, D angle if their opposite angle is the B, O, C. A, O, D they are vertically B, O, C and B, O, D angle they are vertically a O C angle. Okay. Then what do we mean of the parallel line? When the two lines are never intersect each other and they are between have the equal distance between them. Two lines. Suppose here X Y line and M N line. The two lines have the equal distance between them. They never intersect. That type of known as the parallel line that are known as the parallel line okay and intersecting line means two lines when they are the cross each other so this line can be cross here so two line cross each other is known as the intersecting line okay 